What if I told you that you can achieve any financial goal you set your mind to? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it's not. It's possible, and I'm going to show you how. Welcome back to Hustle 5.0. We're continuing our journey towards financial success, and today, we're delving into a pivotal chapter define your financial goals. Your financial goals are the guiding stars that will lead you to a brighter financial future. By the end of this video, you'll understand the importance of setting clear financial goals and how to create your own roadmap to achieve them. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so and hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss any of our financial tips and advice that will help you pave the way to financial success. So, why is defining your financial goals such a crucial step? Goals are the foundation of every successful financial plan, they give you direction, purpose, and motivation. Without clear goals, it's like setting off on a journey without a destination in mind. You'll end up wandering aimlessly, wasting time and money, and feeling frustrated and unhappy. Goal setting has a transformative impact on your financial life. It allows you to prioritize your financial aspirations. You can focus on what matters most to you and allocate your resources accordingly. Stay motivated even during challenging times. You can remind yourself of why you're working hard and what you're working towards. Make informed decisions to achieve your goals. You can weigh the pros and cons of each option and choose the best one for your situation. Measure your progress and celebrate your successes. You can track how far you've come and reward yourself for your achievements. Financial goals can be divided into several categories. Some common types of financial goals include short-term goals. These are typically achievable within one year and can include building an emergency fund, paying off a credit card, or saving for a vacation. Mid-term goals. These goals have a timeline of one to five years and might involve saving for a down payment on a house, funding your child's education, or taking a sabbatical. Long-term goals. These are your big-picture aspirations, such as retirement planning, buying a home, or achieving financial independence. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty of creating your financial goals. Self-reflection is where it all begins. Ask yourself what truly matters to you and your loved ones. What are your dreams, desires, and aspirations? What does financial success look like to you? For me, financial success means having enough money to live comfortably, travel the world, and support my family. What about you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Once you have an idea of what you want to achieve, it's time to turn these desires into SMART goals. SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Specific. Define your goals clearly. For example, rather than saying, I want to save more money specify, I want to save $5,000 for a down payment on a house. Measurable. Create metrics to track your progress. I will save $500 per month is measurable, while I will save more is not. Achievable. Ensure your goals are realistic and attainable. Set challenging goals, but not ones that are unattainable. For example, saving $5,000 in two years is achievable, while saving $50,000 in two months is not. Relevant. Your goals should align with your values and overall financial plan. If buying a home is a priority, focus on that. If traveling is more important, then save for that instead. Time bound. Attach a time frame to your goals. Instead of I will save for a down payment say I will save $5,000 for a down payment within two years. You may have multiple goals, but it's essential to prioritize them. Determine which goals are most important and what order you want to tackle them in. This ensures that you're allocating your resources effectively. For example, you may want to pay off your high interest debt first, then build your emergency fund, then save for your retirement. It's scientifically proven that writing your goals down increases your chances of achieving them. Create a list of your financial goals and display them somewhere you'll see regularly. You can use a notebook, a planner, a poster, or even your phone. The point is to keep your goals in front of your eyes and in your mind. Defining your financial goals is an important step towards achieving financial success. However, many people make some common mistakes when setting their goals, such as setting too many goals at once. This can't lead to feeling overwhelmed and losing focus. It is better to prioritize your goals and work on them one at a time. Paying down so much debt that you don't save anything. This can't leave you vulnerable to unexpected expenses and emergencies. It is advisable to balance your debt repayment with saving for your future. Setting vague or unrealistic goals. This can't make it hard to measure your progress and stay motivated. It is recommended to use the SMART criteria to make your goals specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Not writing your goals down. This can't make you forget or ignore your goals. It is proven that writing your goals down increases your chances of achieving them. 
not reviewing or adjusting your goals. This can't make you miss opportunities or face challenges that require you to change your plans. It is important to be flexible and adaptable, but also committed and consistent. These are some of the common mistakes people make when defining their financial goals. By avoiding these pitfalls, you can increase your chances of reaching your financial aspirations. Many people may have some questions about how to set and achieve their goals. Here are some of the typical questions and their answers that people may ask when defining their financial goals. How do I prioritize my goals? Answer. You may have multiple goals, but not all of them may be equally important or urgent. To prioritize your goals, you can use a matrix that ranks your goals based on their importance and urgency. For example, you can use the Eisenhower matrix, which divides your goals into four quadrants, urgent and important, important but not urgent, urgent but not important, and neither urgent nor important. You can then focus on the goals that are in the first quadrant, followed by the second, and so on. How do I balance saving and paying off debt? Answer. Saving and paying off debt are both essential for your financial health, but you may wonder which one to focus on first. The answer depends on your situation, but a general rule of thumb is to save at least a small amount for emergencies, such as $1,000, before tackling your high-interest debt, such as credit cards. Once you have paid off your high-interest debt, you can increase your savings to cover at least three to six months of living expenses and then work on your low-interest debt, such as student loans or mortgages. How do I create multiple streams of income? Answer. Multiple streams of income are a great way to diversify your income sources and increase your earning potential. There are many ways to create multiple streams of income, such as investing in the stock market, real estate, or businesses, starting a side hustle, freelancing, or creating a product or service that generates passive income. However, before you pursue any of these options, you need to do your research, assess your skills and interests, and calculate your startup costs and expected return on investment. How do I track and review my goals? Answer. Tracking and reviewing your goals are crucial for measuring your progress and making adjustments as needed. You can use various tools and methods to track and review your goals, such as spreadsheets, apps, journals, or calendars. You should track your goals daily, weekly, or monthly, depending on the nature and time frame of your goals. You should also review your goals periodically, such as quarterly or annually, to evaluate your performance and celebrate your achievements. These are some of the typical questions and answers that people may ask when defining their financial goals. Regularly review your financial goals, assess your progress, and make adjustments as needed. Life is dynamic, and your goals may evolve over time. You may face unexpected challenges or opportunities that require you to change your plans. That's okay. The key is to be flexible and adaptable, but also committed and consistent. Congratulations. You've just learned how to define your financial goals and create your own roadmap to financial success. Now, it's time to take action. Start working on your goals today and don't give up. Remember, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. If you have any questions or want to share your financial goals, please leave a comment below. Your insights and questions might inspire our next video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay smart and stay financially savvy.